What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Triven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, alrighty, I think it's time to take on these Team Plasma Goons. Yes, oh wait, Team Galactic. Again, I get them wrong because the same kind of uniforms kind of, you know, tricks me off and anything. But now that we have Cut and we can actually use Bidoof, we can actually get a few extra things uh, right behind the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the Team Galactic uh, place, like... This hidden Pokeball right here that we've been wanting. You know, it has a TM46, Thief, you know, that kind of stuff. And, uh, well, let's see. I think I have another thing to do. No. Actually, we gotta defeat all these Team Galactic goons right now. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be switching it out because we are still switch training Hydra number four right here. And as you can see, somebody notices us. He's like, well, hello, it's me. The guy from the International Police. Well, of course, it's it's Looker from the International Police. He's a master of disguise, what he's saying. And, uh, yes, I'm a first-rate trainer, but he's a first-rate, uh, master of disguise. So, he's looking around while we battle everybody, you know. We do the we do the uh, dirty work while he just, you know, does his, his part, which is get in disguise and just beat everybody, I guess. Not really beat anybody, but here we go. Let's find everybody and let's beat them. Uh, this guy's talking to me about how, yeah, Team Galactic has all the Pokemon right here. Get out of the property. But right now, we're going to be doing a double battle because we can. And, uh, yeah, meddling is not tolerated right here. Hmm. Okay. We'll see what happens. So here we go, guys, our very first battle of this episode. And it's against two Team Galactic grunts right here, a, fem a female and a male. And they both come out with Zubats. Should be easy, right? Because, you know... I got Starblade right here, intimidating the crud out of everybody. Mm -hmm. Intimidating everybody. But, there is one little issue. Uh, Hydra number four can't do crud! So, we're gonna be switching them out. And I'm gonna go attack one guy while the other one tries to hit me. So, here we go. Donatello's out. And uh, there's that wing attack that we've been uh, asking for. So, there it is. Bye bye, Zubat. Eat it. Eat a fat one. Eat the biggest one you can ever find. And look at that, Starblade looking good, Donatilla's uh, getting experience points for not doing anything. He takes a hit from Zubat. And uh, who is the next person in line right here? Who is? Okay, well, you got a Glam Meow right here. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to attack one another person right here, which is Zubat. And hopefully that does finish him off. Look at that. No more Zubat. Hydra number four getting experience points for being lazy. And Starblade grows to level 23, which is cool, and it's learning Whirlwind. Something that I really don't want to teach right now, so we're just going to keep it as is. Whirlwind only works with wild Pokemon. Yeah, not much of our bag right there. And, uh, well, there's that scratch attack. Here comes that bite attack. Hopefully that takes him out. No, it doesn't. And, oh, God, Stunky. Now, for the longest time, I actually thought Stunky was, a, was actually a normal type Pokemon. And then I thought it was a dark type Pokemon because of its Night Slash. Then I, I went to Bulbapedia like many of you guys do, and yes, found out this guy is a poison type Pokemon. That is why Donatello doesn't really do much right here, except just bite. Actually, I think it is a dark type. It wasn't really that effective. Huh. Dark and poison type. Whatever. And uh, here we go with another bite attack. Doesn't do that much damage. And uh, here we go. Starblade with the wing attack for the win. Eat it, Stunky. Eat it. That's right. So, as you can see, with the meddling has worked. And uh, now we can actually go through right here and find some incredible items that it is what it is. And oh, God. This guy's telling me that he has to blind or he has to defend this no matter what. Blindly uh, defend the, 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 the place right there. And so he comes out with a crow gun while I come out with Hydra number four ready to attack. Not really. So let's go again with uh, Starblade right here. Because you know what? Starblade's the, the, it's the Pokemon of the show right now or the, the, the man of the hour. No, it's actually the female of the hour. Sorry for those who think I'm genderizing or whatever. And here comes that Fane attack right here. Fane attack doesn't do much. So what I'm going to do is another wing attack because it's easy. It's simple. And it does that. It really does. That's pretty awesome. Look at that. Bye bye Crow Gunk. And uh, Hydra number four getting experience points and everybody else too. And look at that. That was easy. Very, very easy. 
you guys can see me, I'm two two okay signs in. Let's see what this Pokeball is. It's an X speed, which you know I hardly use X X items. Yeah, it depends. Depends on the movement or whatever. So let's go on to the second room right here. And uh, from this room, we're actually gonna find this guy right here. And uh, unfor well, he's not gonna he, he's not gonna battle us at all. Yeah, he's actually gonna just tell us that we they're trying to find a limited uh, a limited power for some kind of a uh, purpose and whatnot. So here we go again with another Team Galactic Grunt, and uh, it's a female Galactic Grunt, and she's coming out with her Glam Meow. So again, Hydra number four, looking intimidating as fuck. And uh, well, let's switch it out to Donatello because you know Donatello may be slow, but he's strong. Very, very strong. That is right. And oh god, there is that hypnosis attack. Didn't want to feel that one right now. So we're gonna try and wake him up right now with uh let's see. Hmm. There we go. Let's use that stun fellow. Come on, wakey wakey, you lazy pump. And uh he's awake. He's good. And a uh, glamio using its growl attack because it can. I'm just feeling yeah, a little disrespected right now. So here we go. Another hypnosis. Good God. All right. Kind of getting a little sick and tired of getting a, getting a, or getting put to sleep here. You know, really don't like that. All righty. Wake him up again. This time, please do not fall asleep. So here we go. Razor Leaf attack. And there goes Glam Meow. Well, half of its half of its uh, HP goes down. So here we go. Try it again, and this guy's going with the growl attack one more time. Really getting sick and tired of that. So there we go. Mm -hmm. Look at that, Razor Leaf. Hopefully for the win, and it is. Critical hit, suck it. Alrighty, okay. So that was pretty much it for that Galactic Grunt. Don't need, don't need to do anything else, so let's just move on right here. I think we battle this girl. Nope, conducting research on energy, using some kind of energy for some kind of Pokemon. So they're giving me clues of what their intentions will be. We will find out. I already played this game before, guys, so I'm not going to ruin it for those who don't know. But it's something pretty, pretty big right here involving the storyline. So Lexi, we're going to battle this guy right here. And... Uh, <laughs> This person thinks that I'm donating Pokemon. That, that, that's that's funny. That's hilarious. Why would I donate my Pokemon to you? That is wrong. I would never donate my Pokemon because they would never like me. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go ahead and uh, switch it out to uh, Starblade, the awesomest Pokemon ever to exist in this god dang world right here. And uh, well, there's that Fury Swipes. We're gonna have to wait a few turns or a few times before it stops hitting us with all these things. Alrighty. Alrighty, so here we go. Let's go with the wing attack. Will this win? And no! Nearly defeats him, but here we go. A fart attack from Stunky. And, uh, well... We're poisoned, so we're gonna go with the wing attack. Hopefully that wins us again. And yes, it does. Eat it. That's right. That's right. Okay, so more experience points. Let's see. Let's see what happens right now. So we're going to go with a Krogonk, or they're going with a Krogonk, so I'm going to be switching it up right now. Okay, alrighty. So here we go. Hydra number four, looking intimidating as fuck. And let's see what happens right here. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Who should I switch it to? Yeah, let's go with Donatello. Who gives a crud? There we go. There we go. Okay, so Donatello about to take a taunt right here. It doesn't really matter. And uh, it's not really it's not really pissing me off right now. So what we're gonna do right now is we're actually gonna attack it pretty hard. I'm thinking, uh, eh, you know what? Let's go with a bite attack. Mm, okay, so it's not that powerful because it's still what, fighting a fighting type Pokemon. I don't know. So here we go again. Another bite attack. Don't know why I'm continuing, continuously doing it. And, uh, well, bite, bite, bite. And it does it. It really does. Alrighty. Okay, so that's another one. And Donatello grows to level 24, which is cool. 
And, uh, Glam Meow is coming out, so what we're gonna do now is go back to Hydra number four, because, uh, why not? Let's train this Pokemon to be a Gyarados. Let's go. Bring it on. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're gonna be switching it up. Well, actually, I'm not gonna be switching it up. I'm actually gonna just heal my Pokemon with a, a berry, take a hit, and, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna switch out right now, so. It's also good, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. It's a good idea right there. And there's that Intimidate, so just bring it. And, uh, crud! You gotta love it when, uh, you gotta love it when they, they do hypnosis on you. It really, it really gets annoying right there. Alrighty. So, let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon. Just because, you know, we, we don't want to wake up nearly about to faint or anything, you know? Man, that's, man, that's never good right there. And, uh, ugh, Glammeow. You know, Glammeow, Stunky, these are two Pokemon that really, really bug me. They really do. And, uh, you know, I'm not even going to waste any of my awakenings. I'm just going to straight up wake up my Pokemon. Just take a few hits. It really doesn't matter. It's okay. And, uh, okay, so here we go. Wing attack. Nope, still asleep. Come on, wake up, you little slut. Wake up. Nope, the growl attack is uh, still going. Oh my god, wake the hell up, man. Still nothing. Still nothing. So here we go again, and here we go with the wing attack. And that almost takes out Glamio, and uh, that scratch is just irritating the crud out of me right now. So here we go again with another wing attack, and that is it. Say goodbye to Glamio. And uh, Hydra number four grows to level 17 without doing anything at all except taking one hit. That's it. One friggin' hit. All right, so you're stupid. Let's move on to the the other room that we were actually supposed to go to. And, uh, you know, I think we're almost done here, so let's see. Th yep, huge exits. Let's see. Um, first, and, first and foremost, I got to heal my Pokemon because I kind of feel like we're going to be battling some pretty... Uh, strong trainers right here and you know what I'm gonna use a rare candy there we go so we're just two more levels away from evolving our uh, hydra number two so now let's go back inside right here and uh, see what's on I oh wow there's people right there waiting for us there's two oh wow two different uh, stairs hmm okay this guy doesn't want to battle us so I'm assuming that this is the room that we have to go to right yes this is the actual room that we have to go to, but I'm going to skip that for just about right now, and I'm going to battle this guy right here. Let's see what this guy has to say. Hmm, okay, alright. So, they're still telling me about uh, some kind of mission that they have to complete because the energy is a source or whatever. So, he's starting out with a Kadabra right here, and, uh, well, I'm going to be coming out with... Uh, a none, nothing attack because I don't want that to happen. And uh, well, Donatello, you take the you take the rain right here, and let's see what happens. Let's see what happens when a Donatello fights a Kadabra. And look at that, my quick block. It's actually helping out. Huh. And there we go, bite attack for the win, Kadabra. That's right. How's it feel to lose? How does it feel to fail? I should say. <laughs> How does it feel to fail? And look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's that. And I believe this, yes, this is the place for the items. We find ourselves a blue shard, which is also good, I guess. And a revive. Okay, so not much in the in the items department right there, except for just one useful item. And, uh, well, we got to go back up to the middle room right here because apparently there's something going on. You got to save some people, you know. We got to be the hero in this one right here. And uh, talk to this guy, Team Galactic. They took my Pokemon. What are they trying to accomplish? So here it is. What do you want? Do you want something? How silly did it for me to ask? I am Jupiter, and I will deal with you. Okay. So here we go. We got Commander Jupiter, and she's gonna be coming out with her t her Zubat. Let's see. Let's see how this works out. Let's see. Let us see. So let's switch out our Pokemon right now from Hydra to our good old buddy. Uh, Starblade right here. Look at that. Already feeling scared. The power of Arceus compels you. And oh my god. Giga Drain. 
Wow, didn't even know. Didn't even know the Giga Jing would actually work like that. So here we go. Wing attack, hopefully. Takes him out quickly, and it almost does. And there goes Zubat with his own wing attack right now. And uh, <laughs> take a bite of this. Okay, here we go. Quick attack, take a bite of that. How's that feel? Doesn't feel so good, huh? Eat it. Alrighty, okay. And she's going to be coming out with her Skunk Tank. So, this requires us to switch out to our next Pokemon, which is Hydra, because he is a tank. He's a speedy tank. Hopefully those tackle attacks will actually work, right? No. Actually, I'm going to go with a double team right here, because this Skunk Tank loves to poison you. It is very, very, uh, well, like it says in its name, very, very tanky. So it's going to take us a while to beat him, and uh, it's still trying to poison us with its fart. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise our evasion. That way, that never happens. And uh, Night Slash misses. So we're going to go with another one right here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Raising the evasiveness. And, yep, you cannot hit me. You will not hit me. At this point, you're just going to have to, like... You're gonna have to get lucky. You're gonna have to use like swift attack. So here we go. The onslaught begins with wing attacks. There we go, Star Blade. Oh, look at that. You can't hit me. Look at that. Wing attack. Oh my god. And uh well it had a it had an item, a healing item. And this homeboy right here wants to continue with the battle. So let's go with wing attack again that poison gas is not working we're not gonna smell your farts and for the first time ever he is throwing a night slash which almost takes us out oh my god and uh, all right quick attack hopefully this wins it for us and uh, that is that see a scut tank mm -hmm. look at that that's right Starblade you are the MVP of this episode and it grows to level 24 and a girl and uh, Commander Jupiter, not lo loving uh, loving this, you know. She lost to a child, a mere child. And, uh, yeah. Sure, their investigations are done. The Valley Windworks are done. So they got to go back to the boss and talk about the myths of the ancient Pokemon. A mythical ruler of Sinnoh. And, uh, yeah, she's telling us that this is our last warning. We have to stay out of their affairs, which y you guys already know. I'm very, very nosy. That will never, ever happen. So talking to you team plasma you're next and uh, we're grabbing this the upgrade which is an evolution uh, evolutionary item you put that on a Porygon and it will evolve into Porygon 2 and uh, well let's see I think that's pretty much it right there right yes I think it's done right here so we're done with this area I believe now it's time to go on to the next town and hopefully maybe just you know progress just a little bit more with our Pokemon I know many of you guys want me to uh, pick up a new Pokemon and all that stuff, but that will that, that will actually happen in a eh, maybe in an episode or two. I have been doing a lot of editing for my episode, so you guys will be surprised. So stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going into the cycling road. See you guys.